Hello and welcome to Auctionman Models. This time we're building the Ghost of Kiev by ICM Models. It's a new kit just been released, 172 scale. And we start with building the cockpit. So, first off, I'm going to mask off with a bit of blow tap a few areas what need uh, gluing, cut the parts out, mask off so that I can. Put the pieces together without scraping it away. Just use a bit of blood top for that.
which is finished and as you'll have seen from the photos I put on it looks amazing it really does this is a very very good kit you can see with the decals that I've put on here fantastic I've, some of the best decals I've ever put on a kit to say these have gone on here and the, they were massive you saw so I had to cut some of them down to do it but you've seen how big the decals are I only had one that teared a little bit there which I've hidden with dirt and I had one that went a little bit askew over here but that was it that, that as a decal fantastic the numbers the stuff like that all great kit build I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's definitely up there. It's definitely worth the 20 quid for a kit. There's a lot of parts, great decals. It's it's certainly worth the money. I mean, underside, as you can see, they're the missile systems you've got. I've tried looking up a few of them, and it's about the best I can find to what they are, coloured and painted and that. But... I didn't want to go over the top with the dirt and the feet, but I, I, I thought to myself, it's going to be mucky. It's meant to be in a uh, fighting environment until they've been landing, taking off quick everything. So that's why I've done a good bit of dirt on this one. I've changed that to a piece of metal, the uh, stuck out front. That I managed to keep on the side, I put it on last because uh, they kind of break for me. But yeah, I am well impressed with it. My problems are, <laughs> now this is where the thing is, I'm, I didn't have what ICM call off-white. So I had a look online and I saw some of these had a, a grey for the off-white, for the t some was slightly yellow. So I thought, I'll go along the middle ground. So what did I do? I put, got my white ready, I put four drops of grey in it, two drops of yellow you can see here it's a lot more yellow than what I'd have liked I'd, I'd, some people will say that it's fine that doesn't make no difference but I think it looked a bit better if it was more the white or the grey white than the yellow I, I didn't think yellow would have come through that much two drops that's it uh, and I had a lot a lot of white there's got to have been at least 20 to 30 drops of white I had there were that much I just poured it in I mean, it was nearly a full cup of paint in the spray gun, but it did it when I, it really went yellow. Even more so once it had dried, it seemed to stand out a lot more. Luckily, I think the decals have hid a lot of that, in my view. I really do. But, my error. Some of the fitting, like the wheels, I'm not happy with the wheels. One's slightly askew, it just keeps pushing back down. I think I'd have to break it out and do it again to get it to go right with these two. It's that one more than any. It's like slightly off. And that one's slightly twisted, but the hole that were there for it is off. It's it's not in the same position as what you'd like it to be where it were perfect. But it is a the, the MiG-29 is an older kit they've just decaled it all up to make this into the kit that it is but I'm glad I've made it I've enjoyed making it it's certainly worth the 20 pound I'd recommend anybody else that's thinking about getting one just do it sorry about the noise if you can hear it in the background there's an aeroplane taking off not a million mile away from me but other than that if you keep subscribe Keep watching my videos, you'll see me building more and more of these kind of kits. And I hope you enjoy it. Catch you all later.